Today, we're looking at a red ink by Sailor, Fire Red. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around to the part you're most interested in, or if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. You could also follow me on Instagram, and if you like fountain pen ink reviews, I would invite you to subscribe. To make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I then put the ink into this Parker Jotter with a medium nib. I used it to write for a day and to take my notes for this video. I standardized my first writing sample by using Clairefontaine, Tomoe River, and Rhodia paper on all of the tests that I do. I do use other papers, and some of those will show up later in the video. Now, let's look at the writing sample. I picked this ink up in sample form, so it came in a vial like this. And to keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at the Clairefontaine. Whoops. We get no bleeding, no ghosting, the 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. Now the extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. Medium is about the same tone as the extra fine. I'm sorry, that was eight seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, and 14 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation, and we didn't get any. Tumway River. No bleeding, a very minor, if any, show through. It's just that it's such a light ink. The 1.1 is no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 18 seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade, and 25 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show no color variation, and there is none. And Rhodia. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 is no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub. With no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 10 seconds to dry. Medium is about the same tone as the extra fine. With no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 15 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. Trying to straighten up my, there we go. Didn't expect it, didn't get it. I agree with Vita. I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down and immediately put it in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we see that this is a true prime red. It pushes its way up and it is clinging to the filter paper as it's moving. The one on the right that I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And we see all of that red right there in that line and not budging, showing that this can be quite resistant as an ink. Resistance tests are done to see how well this ink can be expected to perform on the page and how hard it may be to clean from your pen. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, it handles itself very well. It has no problem with being re-wet after it's been down. And that shows in the water that had zero effect on this ink. And pen flush had very little effect on this ink getting it off the paper. Now, all of this is talking about getting it off the paper because I have not had any issues getting Sailor inks out of my pens. I haven't had any issues with them rusting or anything else or sorry, staining, rusting, with them staining or anything else as a result of this ink. So this is just showing what the test can do. The one-third bleach solution is not even getting this off the paper. It's really barely having any effect at all. As far as viscosity or flow, for the inks I've tested, I've found an average viscosity of 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Sailor's Fire Red has a viscosity of 2.56, making it normal. 
To find my average dry times, I use my writing samples done on Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper. I average those. Now, for the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with a realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Sailor's Fire Red has an average dry time of 15 seconds, making it once again normal. Instead of finding inks that look like Sailor's Fire Red, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. So I wanted a nice brown, and I chose Diamine's Saddle Brown. The second writing sample is done on Life, Levenger, and Franklin Kristoff paper. Here we're looking at Life paper. Now we get no bleeding and no ghosting. The 1.1 is no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. The extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 8 seconds to dry. Medium is about the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade, and 14 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show no color variation, and we didn't get any. How about Levenger? Well, we have no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 is no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, six seconds to dry. Medium is about the same tone as the extra fine. With no feather spread, halo sheen, it does appear to have some spots with some shading. If you look at quick, goes light to dark, or sorry, goes dark to light to dark. So there is some over, it looks like it goes from lighter to darker. It took 10 seconds to dry. Now the scrubby for both showed us no color variation, although we are getting some in the medium. How about that? Last up is Franklin Kristoff. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade, four seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, six seconds to dry. Scrubby for both show no color variation because there was none, and that is all that I have for the writing sample. So what do I think of Sailor's Fire Red? I think it's a little bit too light a tone for me as reds go. It's, I would call it kind of pale. So what nib and pen is gonna give the best writing experience with this ink? I would go with a very wet fine pen to put enough ink down but on a fine enough line to really make it stand out and live for its name. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I'm going to remind you if you enjoyed it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.